Okay, so this is part three of the week eight lecture. And this part, we go over dosages based on body surface area. So just like some dosages might be based on weight, some are based on body surface area. So we have to calculate the body surface area. And the body surface area is based on weight and height. Um, so just like your weight-based calculations, you have to actually find D based on the patient. These calculations, you have to find D based on the patient as well, but instead of just using the weight, you need to use the weight and the height for the body surface area. So the body surface area, area is a square measure. It's kind of like if you would take a person and skin them and then spread their skin out flat. What meter squared would that flat skin cover? Like a carpet. Carpets are usually measured in feet squared. Well, in medicine we use metric systems so this body surface area, the area of the body surface, which is the skin, is a meter squared measurement. So there's two formulas. The basic of them is height times weight divided by a number, take the square root. Uh, so depending on what measurements you have, if it's centimeters and kilograms, your height times your weight divided by 3600, then take the square root. If it is pounds and inches, height times weight divided by 3131, take the square root. So either way, you're going to get just about the same BSA. Um, if you don't want to memorize both formulas, memorize the metric formula because you need to know how to convert height to centimeters and weight to kilograms anyway. That's something you'll already have to know. So if you only want to memorize one formula, this is the one to memorize. Uh, now, with the body surface area, if the body surface area is less than one, we round to the hundredth. If it's less than one, that means there's no whole number. So there won't be any number before the decimal. It'll be a zero, so you're going to round to the second decimal place. If the body surface area is greater than one, there will be a number in front of the decimal, so then you round to the first decimal place. Okay, so this patient is 42 inches tall, weighs 71 pounds. This medication, chemotherapy med, has been ordered 6 milligrams per meter squared. And this is a daily order, every 12 hours. So this is going to be given, um, split into two doses, one every 12 hours. So you can take care of that now or you can take care of it later. I'll show you both. On hand you have the chemotherapy medication, 200 micrograms per milliliter for IV use. So first the weight, convert the weight to kilograms. Um, now if you only order or if you only memorize the metric, you're also going to have to convert the height, 42 inches, um, to convert an inch to a centimeter, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, so you would take your 40, 42 times your 2.54, get your 106.68 centimeters. So we have our pounds and kilograms, or we have our kilograms and our centimeters, multiply them, divide by 3600, then take the square root. Our BSA is less than one, so we'll round to the second decimal place. So here's the second formula using pounds and inches. So we multiplied, divided by 3131, took the square root, and ended up at just about the same, very minute difference, but when you round, it is the same. So either way, the BSA is 0 0.98 meters squared. So now that we know the BSA, we can calculate our D. So D was ordered as six milligrams per mil millimeters per meter squared. Sorry, six milligram per meter squared. 
our meter squared, which is our BSA, is 0 0.98. So we multiply and we get 5.88 5 milligrams per day. Because remember, it was 6 milligram per meter squared per day. So this is the daily order. So we take our D, um, which still is daily, D over H times Q. In this case, um, H is actually in micrograms and D is milligrams. So we're going to convert our milligram to microgram, multiply by 1,000. 5,880 micrograms per day. So D over H times Q would give us 29.4 milliliters per day. And remember, it's every 12 hours. So that means we have to split this in two, which is 14.7 milliliters per dose. Um, so remember, you have to pay attention to those little details. It was six milligram per milliliter six milligram per meter squared per day every 12 hours. So we could have split that before our calculations and said, okay, that means three milligram per meter squared per dose, which is what I did here. So if I calculate D based on a single dose, it's three milligram per meter squared times our BSA gives us 2.94 milligrams per dose now. Convert your milligrams to micrograms, 2,940 micrograms per dose over our H, 200 micrograms per milliliter, and see so you end up with the same 14.7 milliliters per dose. Okay, so let's determine if this order is safe. Our patient is 63 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. So I could either use the inches and the pounds or I can convert them. 63 inches is 160.02 centimeters, 125 pounds, 56.8 kilograms. The order, cisplatin, 125 milligrams IV every four weeks. On hand, cisplatin, 200 milligram per 200 milliliters, which is the same as one milligram per one milliliter. The usual dose is 75 to 100 milligram per meter squared. So this, this order wasn't based on BSA. This is a direct 125 milligram order. But the usual dosage is the range and the range is based on BSA. So we have to calculate the minimum and the maximum. So if we find the BSA, again, I used both um, the metric method and the household method, and you see you end up at 1.6 meters squared again. Then you have to find the minimum and the maximum. So the minimum is 75 milligram per meter squared. The maximum is 100 milligram per meter squared. Take each, multiply by the BSA, and you get the minimum dosage and the maximum. So this patient is safe to receive this 125 pound patient, because remember, 125 pound, 63 inch patient, because this is based, this recommendation is based on BSA, is safe to receive 120 to 160 milligrams. Um, what was ordered 125 milligrams, which is between the 120 and 160. So this order is safe for this patient. So we go ahead and calculate the amount to administer. The order was 125 milligrams. What do we have available? 200 milligrams per 200 milliliters or one milligram per one milliliter. So you can either use this HQ or this HQ. They're the same this fraction reduces to this fraction. 125 milligrams over one milligram times one milliliter equals 125 milliliters. So we are going to administer 125 milliliters every four weeks. Um, so these, they can be 
a little daunting because you have to pay attention to that per day, per dose, per kilogram, per meter squared. Um, so definitely practice. Go in your book and practice these problems. The more you do them, the easier things will be to pick out and the quicker you'll be able to do them. So that is it for week eight lectures.